Oh my goodness, my amigos, my loyal amigos. I just got home from the golf course. Just got home. Just got home from practicing. Man, you know what? I wish, I wish I had not been so stubborn. I wish that I hadn't been so stubborn in the past. Um, when I was playing golf and, uh, I mean, definitely through life, you know? When something is right in front of your face or when your gut tells you, hey, man, this is what's up. This is what is up, man. I'm trying to tell you. Please listen to me. I am your gut. I know what I'm talking about. My amigos, listen to your gut. Because the gut, your gut, in most cases, in almost 100% of the cases, is right. It knows what is up. And um, so I've been consistently uh, playing golf for three years now. Um, I read the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, and it talks about the 10,000-hour theory. I'll talk a little bit more about this in the future. But um, Malcolm Gladwell basically says that if you practice, you know, it's got to be focused, consistent practice. 10,000 hours of consistent, focused practice will in turn produce a professional. Okay, and so I read this in 2012, uh, probably around October, I got it on my Kindle and I read it and I finished it in um, uh, late November, early December. And so I put it to practice and I said, OK, well, I'm going to go ahead and start practicing for 10,000 hours and let's see what happens. I wish I would have I wouldn't have been so stubborn. I wish that I would have I added probably because uh, I just recently took lessons this year. And I wish I would have done it a long time ago. I wish I wouldn't have been so stubborn. And I would have just listened to my gut, which said, no, man, just get the basics. Just get the foundation of what you're supposed to do out here on the golf course. Because golf is so intricate. It takes thousands and thousands and thousands of swings to get rid of a bad swing. It takes thousands of hours of practice. It really does just to get rid of a hook or a fade um you know i mean a, a slice not a fade a slice so i just wish i wouldn't have been so stubborn i wish i would have gone online and i would have googled it but you know what this is gonna make me better because i'm gonna learn through this process and i will seek help in the future from professionals from people that have been doing it for a long time don't be like me don't be so freaking stubborn and ask for help Look for help. Look for the help online. Don't be so stubborn because you're going to add thousands of hours of trying to figure it out. When somebody, somebody has already figured it out. Unless you're an absolute pioneer and you're uh, like delving into an area where nobody else has ever touched, you know? But for the most part, whatever it is that you're doing, don't be so stubborn. Ask for help. I wish I would have done it a long time ago. It would have saved me. I, I... I can almost guarantee that I would have been probably like a plus one or a plus two right now had I not been so, been so stubborn. So, you know, get your head out of your ass also goes for me. I need to figure that out. I will in the future not be so stubborn and I'm going to I'm going to reiterate that to myself as much as I can. Mike, don't be so stubborn. Allow success to come to your door by allowing other people's mistakes and they're good things. So uh, get your head out of your ass. Don't be so stubborn. Keep smiling. Keep laughing. Keep being happy. Keep sharing and taking in positive energy. I always go back to this saying because it is so true and so powerful. And it goes, um, below average persons don't learn from their mistakes. The average man or woman will learn from their own mistakes. But brilliant men and women learn from other people's mistakes and I should have I shouldn't have been so stubborn I should have seeked help a long time ago so thank you so much for listening keep smiling people